Now, because I know most of the faders are in the right locations because it was recorded and uh, balanced very well, and there are stems that I'm using. So I'm just going to start mixing my drums first and then work out with to the rest of it. And let's do the um, kick first from the beginning. And let's see what we can get. A little bit of compression. Just feeling where and let's boost. I'm sweeping the frequency to find the right bit flappy there so I'm just gonna that sounds okay there so I'm just gonna reduce the gain back just a little bit of uh, boost at the lower frequency right there I'm gonna take some of the 80 Hertz out people go what taking the 80 Hertz out it's a it's a um, shelf so it's just reducing a tiny bit so I can get a little bit punchy there. Okay, so let's bring up the snare. Again, I'm just going to boost. Okay, we've got a rim shot there, so I'm just going to focus on the rim shot. Yep, it's too loud. And I'm just going to cut a bit more of the uh, low shelf. Okay, the compression is just bringing out a tiny bit of that snappiness. And now the overheads. A little bit more compression on the overheads. Just panning the snare a little bit to the um, to the left. It's a drummer's perspective, but you can have the other way. It will be audience perspective. Okay, that's pretty much drums done. So let's uh, see if we can mix with the um, bass guitar. I'm just going to mute all of those. And you're going to see in a minute why. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm just going to give compression. Okay. Again, boost so we can find... That sounds good. Now I'm balancing between the kick drum and the guitar, bass guitar. Yep, the bass is filling up the space. All good. Let's bring up the rest of the drums. Okay, so we've got uh, the drums, 
and the bass all sorted. Let's move on to the rest of the instrumentation. Okay, moving on. Let's mute all of those tracks. Let's go with the electric guitar. Of course, I'm not going to try to change too much of the tonal characteristic of the guitars, um, and because that's how they are intended, but I'm just going to make sure that it fits in with the rest of the instruments. Just trying to cut a little bit of that um, bass signal there. The bass note is playing plain, so it doesn't interfere. This note. Yep, that sounds all right. Let's bring the rest of them in to uh, make sure that we are still uh, on track. That sounds good. Let's move on to the next one. Of course, you can spend a lot more time with it. But I'm just, uh, this is a demonstration video, so there's no point spending hours on it. And let's do the acoustic guitar and see how that sounds. You might see me going to the uh, compressor all the time. That's because I want to actually have some compression so that it reduces some of the dynamics so that everything pretty much gets glued together and we get much louder mix and you can tell that I'm just c catching up the peaks again we do have that lower we're gonna allow the bass guitar to control that so I'm doing a low shelf cut Yeah, that's bringing out all that strum, so that's really nice. Let's bring the other guitar in. Yeah, that's sounding all right. Let's bring the rest. Now all of the instruments done, let's work on the vocals. 